Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to coast, This Week in America. Great to have you with us on the program. Investment Success, A Practical Guide to Managing Investments by Zachariah Dauke Salaman is a practical do-it-yourself book on how to invest in today's world and making a success of it in an environment where investment failure is a huge possibility. Zachariah, based on his educational background, experience, and practical day-to-day learning, teaches the reader key issues in investment, how to succeed at it through understanding the concepts of investment, types of investments, the critical issues of money as an oxygen of investment, how to effectively manage success and failure in investments and other relevant areas. Zachariah is a holder of a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration, an MBA in General Management, has over 28 years working experience in the Nigerian oil and gas industry. He's an emerging leader and team builder in the oil and gas industry in Nigeria, who has actively been involved in adding value to the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation in its bid to become a world-class oil company. He's a motivational speaker, enjoys mentoring and coaching on leadership qualities and investment techniques. Zachariah Dauke Suleiman is our guest on the program today. He comes to us via satellite from Nigeria. He's author of Investment Success, a Practical Guide to Managing Investments, recommended by the U.S. Review. Zachariah, welcome to the program, sir. It's great to have you with us. Great. Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. I forgot to mention, you make this all very readable. Sometimes we pick up books about investing in money and we get lost in the jargon. And it's like, I have no idea what this means. You have a way of breaking it down to us where we really understand this. We feel like you're sort of in the room with us talking and explaining. I mentioned the business background that you have. Talk about why you became an author. What was interesting about uh, writing, especially this book? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, I grew up to meet my mother, a trader, a petty trader, buying and selling. And at a point, I started asking, why should people come and carry our products? Because of the work market day, they come with their lorries and uh, buy up the items. So she told me, look, these people are traders. They bring their products to our side and then also buy our products from our place and take it to their place. So right from the beginning, I started developing the interest. I said I will be a businessman. Apart from that, uh, you know, I went over to, to read business administration in the first and second degree. Not only that, my colleagues in the office, often at times, will receive the same amount of money. But before the, the months end, they come around to borrow. So it, it touched me, and I started asking, why should your salary not take you to the end of the month? So because of that, I started organizing uh, a, a, a lectures as a sort of, let's talk about money. So I started reading on investment. I wanted to get the most simplest definition of investment. And incidentally, I got it in a dictionary that defined investment as the act of putting money into use with the expectation of profit or added value. Now, when I analyzed that, definition, I discovered that there were three basic things that were very, very key to investment. The act of putting money into use, availability of money itself, and then the expectation of value. Now, I started teaching my friends and the rest of them, I started, you know, the idea to write, to put to put my thoughts into, uh, a, a, you know, distribute it to people came in. Yes. So yes. that idea of trying to share my my experiences, what I've been discovering was very, very key to putting these things into writing. So I started jotting things together. During break at my workplace, I will call my colleagues, let's spend 20 minutes discussing about money, about our salary. How do you manage our salary? How do we invest our money? With that in mind, I started writing it, writing from there. Before you know it, I started writing articles from there. The idea now came. But above all, God actually inspired me to write this. It's interesting. And become an an award-winning author in the book. If somebody says, well, 
Zachariah has been a success in Nigeria. I'm here in the United States or I'm in London. This really is worldwide, isn't it? The investment advice you're giving. I'm reading this and I won't even know where you're from. It's just you're a successful investor. So this really, wherever you are, we can all learn something from your book, Investment Success. Yes. Incidentally, you see, the principles of investment are universal. Yes. And, and that's why when you look at investment, when you invest, two things happen. You either succeed or you fail. When you succeed, you need to sustain that success because success is not a, a, a journey. It's, it's, a, it's not a, a, a destination. It's a journey. Now, when you succeed, you need to sustain it. And along the line, there could be setbacks. And these setbacks, you need to also work on them. And that was why I looked at, I said, what makes investment tick everywhere in the world? Money. And money, I, decided, I, I wanted to equate money with something that will express my feelings. I said, money could be uh, uh, considered as oxygen in the field of investment. You know, God in his own way has provided this oxygen free of charge. Whether you are in the US, whether you are in Russia, whether you are in Europe, whatever, the oxygen to live is free. But when it comes to the issue of investment, that oxygen is not free. That is money for you. And so uh, if you handle money very well, you will be able to you know, succeed in investment wherever you are. Whether you are in the US, wherever you are, when you have the emotional stability to use money the way it is, I tell you, the principles of investment are universal. When you treat money very well, when you are able to handle your investment very well, whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are in America, I tell you, you will be able to succeed. The book is available, by the way, at authorreputationpress.com in their product department there where you'll find all of the books available at uh, the usual places where books are sold. Our guest on the program is Zachariah Dauke Suleiman. And that's S-U-L-E-I-M-A-N. We'll give you all of that. You can link on directly by going to our website. The title of the book is interesting because like everything, it's very simple to understand. Sometimes people get too cute with the titles. We have no idea what they're trying to say. Investment Success, A Practical Guide to Managing Investments. And there are three or four key words in that. Success, practical, um, managing, for example. Talk about coming up with the title, because the title really does a job of explaining what the book is all about. Yes, the title came about when I, uh, in my quest to get the most simplest definition of investment. When I got the most simplest in, uh, investment, uh, definition of investment, and I went further to, uh, uh, you know, since in my own place, people are scared of investment. So I asked myself, how can I be able to explain in the most simplest term and you know language to people who uh, will go through this book? And then they need to research on the practical guides to uh, you know uh, 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 invest. Came in, so I, I had to tell my friends, look, we can have practical things that we can do so that we can uh, be able to succeed in investment, and then from there. The idea now developed, and then I now came up with the need to, you know, explain to them, if you invest, you are going to succeed. That brought the issue of investment success. Now, when you succeed, you also need things that will make you to continue to succeed. That now brought me to the idea of, look, getting a practical guide to lead people who are scared of investment. Failure, you know, failure is something that people don't like to hear. But the, so long as you 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 invest, there are times you are going to face setbacks, and this setback setback, if you are able to manage them well, your investment will definitely succeed. And so from there, I got the title, investment success, a practical guide to management investment. If you can do that, definitely wherever you are, you are definitely going to succeed. When you have a, this this concept, and this is basically, as you said, information you shared with, with people at work, talk about the motivation to come up with the book and then what you had to go through to write the book, Investment Success. 
Uh, it, you see, uh, writing is uh, not a day's job. It takes a lot of patience for you to put things into writing. And the most challenging thing is time. Yes. The time to yes. sit down and think. But before you think, you must read. I have read so many books. I have so many mentors. And by the time I read these books, it became a habit for me. Do you know that I, I, I read to sleep and wake up to read? The last thing I do in the night is to sit down and go to my library and read as much as possible. The following day, I read before I go out. With all this, you have to create a time. There is no time. We have the same time. Everybody has the same time. But for you to be able to write, you must be able to create time for your reading, for your research, and then take notes as and when you so that when you are now writing, you'll be able to refer to experts in the field. Like one of my mentors is Robert Kiyosaki. Even uh, Warren Buffett is also one of them because I've read all their books. Uh, John Maxwell is also one of them. I have been reading and researching in such a way that it gives me time. It gives me the ability to put all these things into writing so that I can express myself. I can share my ideas to as many people as possible so that they can also succeed the way I've succeeded. The book is Investment Success, A Practical Guide to Managing Investments by Zachariah Dauke Suleiman, our guest on the program. Zachariah, Z-A-C-H-A-R-I-A. Dauke is D-A-U-K-E. And Suleiman is S-U-L-E-I-A-M. You can link onto our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and get all the information there. I spell that. When you Google it, you'll be able to get the right spelling in and find the book we're talking about, Investment Success. I mentioned the book is available at Author Reputation Press. Talk about that, because I understand you can buy the book directly from Author Reputation Press. Sure. You can buy it directly from them because they're my greatest uh, uh, partners. Uh, they identified the book and then uh, contacted me and we are partnering today. Because of them, I'm able to uh, participate in this program. So you can go directly to them. They have the distribution rights to the book. Uh, when you get there, uh, I tell you uh, the book is available. And I'm very, very proud to be given this opportunity to talk to America, American people who are great people. And so most of my mentors are from America, as I mentioned earlier. Yes. It, it's so the book, um, the book I'm getting from uh, Auto Reputation uh, Press uh, Limited. What are some of the plans after writing this book? And I understand that you'll be promoting this book actively, which you need to do to get this information out to people. What are some of your plans in, in now and in promoting the book with Author Reputation Press? Uh, definitely, we are already in talking terms. We are going to uh, distribute, uh, promote this book in different different ways. And uh, as we go in in the partnership with the uh, auto repetition, we are going to engage ourselves in so many. Right now, it is in Amazon, Noble, and uh, other avenues will be explored so that the information in this book, which is key, will get to as many people as possible so that they can have this practical guide to invest in their lives, invest in everything that they're doing. I mentioned Zachariah coming to us via Skype from Nigeria. The video portion of the program you'll find by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, the video tab. We're all up on, uh, on YouTube with that. So we're, we're having a chance to talk with Zachariah about his book, Investment Success, A Practical Guide to Managing Investments. What comes next for you after this book? Are you working on a, on a follow-up? You, you're a very gifted author in breaking things down that, that we can understand. Are you working on another book? I have already written another book, and that book has to do with uh, retirement. Uh, the title of the book is Preparing for a Happy and Comfortable Life in Re Retirement. This book also is another simple book I have written that takes care of three groups of people. Those uh, uh, coming into an organization, those that have been working for quite some time, and then they retired. To those who are just coming, I'm telling them to start with the end from the beginning. When you start your working career, you need to start with the end from the beginning because whether you like it or not, at a point in time, you are definitely going to retire. And so my emphasis there is that, look, 
Don't think the years are far. Say, like me, some years ago, I thought my retirement was very, very far. I said, definitely, before you know it, I'm already at the age of, at, at, at the age of retirement. I can and for relate. Those who have been working, and for those who have been working for a long time, you need to prepare emotionally, psychologically, you know, and financially. If you do that, your retirement would be very, very a happy, a happy one. And, and, you know, because you have stayed for a long time in these organizations, the point of living, you have an emotional and psychological impact. So you need to manage it so that at the end of the day, you are uh, having a, a soft landing. Now for the retired, I said retirement is not a death sentence. It's also another opportunity for you to manage while you are in retirement, manage your life while you are in retirement. So there are a lot of examples I did in that. After this book, I'm still going to write. I'm still writing. Writing is part of me. I keep writing. In fact, I'm writing on my own country. And uh, very soon, uh, in the next couple of uh, uh, years, that book will come out. You know, writing is a long process. You need patience. You need to concentrate. And you need to focus. Yes. Well, we'll look yes. forward to both of those books. I'd love to find out more about Nigeria and look forward to that book. And certainly want to find out quickly about retirement. So work on that right away so you get a copy of the book to me. I need that information quickly on, uh, on retirement. Zechariah, the book is Investment Success, A Practical Guide to Managing Investments. A couple minutes left in the program. Give us a couple of, uh, of nuggets, pieces of information from the book that, uh, that you want to share with people that so often we're intimidated by investments because we do see the risk and we also see the failure. Give us a couple things from the book that uh, will be encouraging, that will, will get us motivated to get out there and participate in investments and overcome that fear and, and make some, some significant uh, money. Yeah, uh, I, 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 can, I can discuss the other aspects of investment with you, which is in the book. And uh, before I do that, let me still emphasize the fact that when you invest, two things happen. You either succeed or you fail. When you succeed, you need to sustain that success because success is a journey. Now, whenever there is a, a setback, there is no need for you to panic. You need to have courage to face those facts. And that is why somebody said, losers, they quit whenever they face setback. But winners, what you know what they do? They keep failing and failing and failing until they succeed. That is why investment is very key. And at whatever level, you can participate in investment. And so while you are doing that, you need to also know that there is need for you to look at additional sources of income. Don't restrict yourself to one, one area of your life. If you are working with the organization, try and create other sources of income. One other aspect of investment I want to share with my audience is that, look, money is key, and so I term it the oxygen of investment. But you see, there are other aspects of uh, money that I need to discuss with them quickly. The thinking you have before you have money is different from the thinking you have after you have gotten this money. Why? Because most of the good ideas come to you before you have this money. If you are not strong enough, the moment you have this money, all the new, new ideas will pop into your mind. So there is need for you to definitely know that when you have money, there is need to really think and then concentrate. Your emotions are very, very key. And that's why Warren Buffett said that if you are not emotionally balanced, there is no how you can control your money. So there is need for us to be aware of this aspect of money. One other aspect of money I want to draw attention to it is that money is the only commodity that has no diminishing marginal utility. For instance, if you are hungry right now and a food is given to you, the first spoon is likely going to be the most sweetest in your mouth. But as you continue, the taste will continue to deteriorate. And if you continue and uh, uh, continue to eat, you may vomit. But with money, very few people can resist the temptation of getting money. With money, there is no no, there is no south, there is no east, there is no. In fact, when it comes to money, you see people coming together, it's a unifying factor. 
So I'm trying to bring out this so that people who are investing should know that their emotions is key when they are investing. The book. I can go on and on. I can go on and on. Different ways of people making money all are in the book. It's all in the book, and the book is Investment Success, A Practical Guide to Managing Investments by Zachariah Zauke Suleiman. I'm going to spell that one more time for you. The book's available at authorreputationpress.com. Zachariah, Z-A-C-H-A-R-I-A. Dauke is D-A-U-K-E. Suleiman is S-U-L-E-I-M-A-N. We've got all of that if you're traveling and can't can't uh, write all of that down on our website this week in america.us better yet just remember investment success a practical guide to managing investments go to uh, authorreputationpress.com and you'll find it in their uh, products their book section there zachariah from uh, skype from nigeria with us on the program today an excellent job in the book uh, the book by the way recommended by the u.s review and with good reason excellent reviews for the book thank you sir for being with us on the program i know a couple more books you're working on would love to have you back on the show with us thank you for spending some time with us today and talking you talking us through this process because it can be intimidating this fear thing is there and you're telling us how to deal with that and uh, it's from firsthand knowledge and i thank you for being with us on the program Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. The book, once again, is Investment Success, A Practical Guide to Managing Investments. You'll find it at authorreputationpress.com. Information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.